So today, our Bible story, you can find in John chapter 6. When Jesus walked the earth, people would follow him no matter where he was going. They would run to where he was at. They would follow him, and there was always thousands of people around him because they wanted to know, is he really who he says he is? And if he is, then I want healing and I want deliverance and I want freedom in these areas of my life. So people would just chase him around and be next to him just so they could be in his presence. So in today's story, you're gonna see a little bit about how God would handle having all of those people around him and how he would take every opportunity and use every single person to create miracles. Jesus was one of the most famous people in all of Israel. One day, as he was teaching, thousands of people came to listen, hanging on his every word. He spoke and taught in a way that people could understand. There were people from all social classes. Some were Jews, others were Gentiles. Yet each of them found significance in the wisdom with which he taught. Jesus had a lot to say, and later during the day, the crowds became hungry. Jesus, the people are hungry, his disciples came and told him. You must send the people away to find a place to stay and find something to eat. Jesus looked at the thousands of people. It was a huge crowd. There were 5,000 men, plus women and children. Then Jesus gave a strange order to his disciples. You give them something to eat, he commanded them. The disciples were confused. We don't have any food. And even if we spent all the money we had on food, there still would not be enough. Then Jesus asked them, What food do you have? One of his disciples, Andrew, came up to Jesus with a young boy. This boy has five barley loaves and two fish, but that is not enough for all these people. Have the people sit down, Jesus instructed. The disciples went to work arranging the people into an orderly seating pattern. The young boy watched as Jesus held up his food and thanked God for it. Suddenly, a miraculous sign occurred. After giving thanks, Jesus started handing out the food. The more he handed out, the more food there was. God was multiplying the five barley loaves and two fishes to be enough to feed 5,000 people. The crowds were amazed. Once again, Jesus' disciples witnessed firsthand the power of the Son of God. Jesus was constantly illustrating and teaching them valuable lessons that would help strengthen their faith. With God, nothing was impossible. Not even turning two fishes and five loaves of bread into a 5,000-piece lunch as the disciples scooped up the leftovers, they filled 12 full baskets. This was an undeniable miracle. Who could have such power? Indeed, this Jesus was the Son of God. That day, thousands more people believed, repented, and put their trust in God. The thing I want to focus on in that story is, imagine that you are that little kid. You're just there with your packed lunch that maybe your mom made you, or maybe you were bringing dinner to the rest of your family out in the crowd of people. The thing is, is that you might see, it might seem like that was an insignificant person in the story, but he was just living his life and he had the opportunity to be a part of a huge miracle. And instead of keeping the dinner for himself and saying, oh, how are we gonna feed these 5,000 people? He said, well, I've got five and I've got two, it, may, it may, might not make a dent, but I'm going to give it to Jesus. And the truth is that this little boy in this story is not insignificant. First of all, here we are thousands of years later still talking about that little guy. Secondly, because of who he was, just living his life, being normal, not do it, trying to be crazy, not trying to do anything special, just going to visit his family and this group of people and see what this Jesus was all about. And he ended up being able to be a part of thousands of people seeing that Jesus truly was who he says he was. He was the son of God. And because of his five loaves of bread and two fishes, thousands of people now believe because they saw that miracle that was brought on by his selflessness. 
The thing I want you to take away from this is that we never know what kind of person, big or small, that God will use to make a difference in this world. We are never just a face lost in the crowd. Jesus knew that little boy was going to be there, and he knew that he was going to use him to have an eternal impact. And that's the same for us. We never know when God's going to use us. So we got to be ourselves, the truest version of who God made us to be, so that at any time, God can use us for an eternal purpose.